In this video, we're going to take a look at placing our campaign into a page or a post. In the previous video, we set up test campaign. Um, there's a couple of things we can do from right here within the campaign list. First of all, we can obviously edit the campaign by clicking edit. We can delete the campaign by clicking delete. We can also pause the campaign using the on or off button. You can see now it says inactive. We'll turn it back on. And we can also view the campaign uh, so we can check everything out. Now, to place the campaign, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. Um, we can place the campaign inside of any WordPress page or any WordPress post. Now, there's two ways to do it. Uh, we can either do it right from our standard posts and pages. For instance, if I go to pages, and let me just edit this test page. And this works the same for pe whether it's a page or a post. It's the exact same feature. But basically, we're going to put the cursor where we want the campaign to show. We're going to click the WP Scratch and Save icon in the WYSIWYG editor. Choose the campaign that we want to show. Here we have an opportunity to edit the lead-in message. And let me just put in, uh, this is our lead-in. And you may want to use this to say, uh, you know, to put a brief headline above the scratch ticket, or you may not. Um, it's totally up to you. This will not take a blank field, so you have to put in at least a space or a period or something non-discrete if you don't want to use this. And then we have the after scratch message, which like I explained in the previous video, will display after somebody's reached um, the maximum number of scratches they can reach. So if you have that set to 24, refresh in 24 hours, they'll only be able to play once a day. And when they come back before that 24 hour period is up, this is the message that they'll see. And we simply click insert short code. We're going to update the page. And now if we just go view page, you can see here's our, here's our scratch off ticket and this is our lead-in message that we just placed. Now if I scratch this off, we're going to get, sorry, you're not a winner. Okay? And if I refresh this and scratch again, we're going to see, congratulations, you're a winner. Because I have this set to 50%, so every other time it's going to show a winner message versus a loser message. Simple as that. Let's go back into our dashboard real quick. And let's go back to Scratch and Save and Campaigns. We can also add them, uh, any of our campaigns, into a page or post without ever leaving um, the campaign area. On the, the last time I placed this, I put in, you know, I went to the actual Pages menu. We can do the same thing from right here. If we click the Page button, what this does is it basically just opens up the WordPress admin inside of a lightbox. This allows us to do this all without leaving the campaign section, which saves a little bit of time. The other way we can place a campaign is with a widget. The WP Scratch and Save plugin does include a Scratch and Save widget. So if I come over to Appearance and then Widgets, you can see there's a scratch and save widget that's been added to your WordPress installation. This works just like any other widget. You simply drag it into the sidebar or any widgetized area in WordPress that you'd like to place it. You choose your test campaign or, your, or you choose the campaign. Again, you have the option to edit the lead in message and the after scratch message. And you can set the redirect to open in a light box or a new window, just like in the campaign setup. Now, if you have the campaign set up, redirect to set up to open in a new window, maybe you want the widget to open in a light box. So we've added those features so you can customize the widget um, on a campaign by campaign basis. So it's as simple as that. You just place the widget, click save, and you're all set to go. Okay, so I'm going to just delete this real quick and get rid of that. There's also one more thing we can do with our campaign, and that's generate a clean URL suitable for embedding inside of a Facebook app or a Facebook fan page or any place you'd like to use a scratch-off ticket outside of your WordPress page. In order to do that, we'll come back over to the page that we just set up, 
And you can have one of these URLs um, in any scratch and save camp or any scratch and save WordPress installation. And let's just click edit here. This is going to take us back to the page that we just set up with our campaign on it. And what you can do is if you scroll down, let's we'll wait for this to load, you can see our shortcode is still on the page. And if we view the page, here's our campaign. Let's go back to edit that page. And let's just scroll down. You're going to see a scratch and save for Facebook and mobile. Okay. Now this is slightly inappropriately worded. Um, most if you're using a responsive theme, then you don't need to worry about it. your WordPress installation, your scratch and save campaign is going to show up on a mobile device just fine. However, if you wanted to embed this campaign outside of WordPress, like I said, such as Facebook or another mobile application, um, or even onto an HTML site, you can do that. You're going to just simply check this box, okay? So we check this box. And I'm going to click update. And now if we come back over to scratch and save and go to our settings page, you'll see we have a URL right here. And I'm just going to copy that, come up here to my browser, and paste that in. And what that does is that displays your campaign on a completely clean page with no WordPress anything around it. So basically you can take any one embedded campaign and generate this unique link that will be clean of all WordPress styling. And this allows you to make it very, very clean. This makes for a very, very robust solution that allows you to place your scratch ticket campaigns in virtually any situation inside of WordPress or outside of WordPress. Talk to you soon.